After the devastation from Hurricane Florence, a new report shows that the state did not do enough to track how millions of dollars were spent in that recovery. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Carter. I'm Angela Taylor. That storm brought record flooding to parts of the state when it impacted North Carolina in 2018. Our Capitol reporter, Michael Highland, is digging deeper live in Raleigh tonight. Michael, this is one of several reports like this that have come out in the last few weeks. Right, the state auditor says there's a broader issue here with how the government handles emergencies. She says there's not enough accountability for where the money goes in a crisis. When Hurricane Florence struck North Carolina in September 2018, the damage was catastrophic, but it wasn't the first time this kind of emergency had happened. There's just no accountability on how we're getting these monies out in our disasters. State Auditor Beth Wood released this new report Tuesday, concerned about being unable to follow the money the state sent out to help people recover. The General Assembly had the Department of Public Safety administer the fund they set up. Wood found about half a billion dollars was distributed with limited monitoring. She also found more than 780 million went out without a way to measure whether that money was being used appropriately and effectively. So this makes it incredibly difficult, if not impossible, to determine whether there was waste, fraud, abuse of this money. Absolutely. It makes it impossible. We can't in our audit say that it was or that it wasn't. I ran into Public Safety Secretary Eddie Buffalo after he had a meeting with the auditor, but he wouldn't answer our questions about the report. Do you have a couple minutes to talk to us about what they found and like what it. you want to do about it? I like it. We want to know more about where the money went and why it wasn't tracked. It's all that information. Okay. We'll get with you. Buffalo was not in charge of the agency during the time period the money went out. In a letter, he writes the outcomes for the money weren't specifically articulated. He adds often, especially in natural disaster situations, specific needs are not clear. Even though we're sending this money out in an emergency, there should be some monitoring. People say, well, we've got an emergency going on. We can't monitor. We've got to figure that out. DPS says they now use what they call a scope of work document. People receiving the money have to explain their plan for how they're going to use it and give quarterly updates. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.